Okay. Um, so I'm going to talk now about how to use resource packs. Types of resources in resource packs. There's interview scripts, drama scripts, backgrounders, and broadcaster how-to guides. And there are many ways these resources can be used in your work. Today, we'll give you some ideas on how to use interview scripts, drama scripts, and backgrounders. Again, please add any comments or questions on this topic in the chat box below. So let's talk about interview scripts first, which are the most common items, the most numerous items in our resource packs. As we mentioned, if you want to download Word copies of any of the items in the resource pack, you open the resource, then click on Save and Edit This Resource as a Word Document. Just a note on this, this is only available for resource packs published in 2013 or later, so the last five years. Over the coming months, we hope to extend this backwards. There's a number of ways you can use interview scripts to help your programming. For example, you can use the information in the script to help you understand a subject, to create programs on it, or to craft interview questions on the topic. You can use the structure of the interviews and the actual questions as guidelines for interviewing farmers and other topics, including how to ask follow-up questions and how to pace interviews. You can use interview scripts as inspiration for creating programs on the same or a similar topic. You can change the details and you can adapt the script to your local context. And we'll say a little bit more about adapting scripts in a few minutes. You can use the questions as starting points to engage in on-air debates and panel discussions. Finally, you could read them on-air with local actors or even with broadcasters at the station. So here's a little bit of feedback from broadcasters who found the interview scripts useful. Just a couple of points. One broadcaster said that the interview scripts give him basic questions so that when experts are responding, he can quickly follow up. They're very structured so that when I talk to experts, he says, the flow is better. Another broadcaster said that, uh, sorry, when, when we asked broadcasters what kind of situations they would use the interview script in, one broadcaster said, when I need a guide on the right questions to ask an expert. So we expect that most of the time you will adapt our interview scripts by changing at least three things the names of the people interviewed, the locations mentioned in the script, and by translating it into your broadcast language. But we encourage you to, to adapt the resources in a fuller way. For example, by making sure that everything in the drama or the interview script is culturally appropriate and relevant, by changing the names of crops that are not common in your area, and by changing all numbers in the script. For example, the costs of inputs or the average yield you change these things to reflect the realities in your listening area. But there are some challenges when adapting material to local context, to your local context, and we'll go over a few of the most important challenges now. So the first rule of adapting our materials is one we might call don't make things up. For example, you shouldn't just translate the interview but simply change the name of the people interviewed and the location of the interview. If you did that, you would be presenting something that just didn't happen. Instead, there's a few options you could choose. First, you could present the interview and just tell your audience that it was conducted with the original interviewee in the original location, even if you don't live in that area. For example, if, if the interview was conducted in Nigeria and you are in Ghana, you could present it as something that happened in Nigeria. You would also tell them that the interview is translated from the original language and is being presented by voice actors. A second option is to tell the audience that you've changed the names of the people interviewed and the locations to adapt it to your area. But here's a tip. Make sure you don't change the name of the interviewee to someone who is known in your listening area. You don't want to per put words in that person's mouth. So. If you want to change the name of the interviewee, it's best to use a very, very common name that won't identify anybody that people in the listening audience know. Probably just Mr. or Mrs. and then a common name. A third option, and this is what we recommend whenever possible, is to do your own interviews on the same or a similar subject with farmers and other people in your area. 
you can use the material in the script and even some of the questions as a starting point for your own interviews. Here are two final tips for adapting interview scripts. As a matter of fact, these tips can be applied to adapting any kind of resource from Farm Radio, or actually to materials you find anywhere else. First, check on all numbers. For example, the number of bags or the size of storage bags, how big a tipple, typical harvest is, the number of times weeding is required, the number of times it's recommended that you apply a pesticide, the amount of money that farmers receive for selling their crops, etc., etc. All these numbers can vary greatly from one country to another and from one area of a country to another. Make sure you change all numbers in the script to make them right for your listeners. The second tip is that in many cases you will need to change farming details to those that are commonly used in your area. For example, if a script mentions a pest or a disease or a weed that is not common in your area or not problematic, you might want to change it to something that's more familiar to your listeners. But if you do that, you will need to adapt all the other information about the pest or the disease to the weed or the weed to make sure it's accurate. So you might want to do the same thing with crops and farming practices. Make sure that they are relevant in your area and make sure that you get the information correct. Now let's talk a little about how to adapt and use drama scripts. There are a number of ways you can use drama scripts to help your programming. Uh, this is not an exhaustive list. These are just some of the ways that we broadcasters have told us that they use them. You may find original and wonderful ways to use them. And please tell us about us if you do. First, you can change the details and adapt the script to your local context. Then work with a local theater group to voice and record the characters. Or, if there's only a few characters and the drample is fairly simple and short, you might be able to have broadcasters at the station voice the characters either live on air or recorded. Second, you can work with the community to create a drama on a similar theme, then either record it or voice it live. To do this, it helps if someone on staff has some experience with drama. Like interview scripts, you can use the information in a drama to help you understand the subject and craft interview questions on the topic. And finally, like interview scripts, you can use dramas as inspiration for creating programs on the same or similar topics. Here's some feedback from broadcasters who found drama scripts useful. One broadcaster said she liked to use dramas, farm radio dramas, because station broadcasters think that they're more appealing to listeners. She added that farmers say they don't have time to listen to an interview script, but that they will sit down and listen to a drama. Another broadcaster said that, quote, Experts are not always good at explaining things well on air, even when you give them a question in, in advance of the interview. Therefore, drama can be easier for audiences to understand." End quote. Now let's talk a little bit about how to use backgrounders. Unlike drama scripts or interviews, backgrounders don't tell a story. Backgrounders are just a source of information on particular farming topics. Here's a couple of ways you can use backgrounders to help your programming. First, you can use the information in Backgrounders to help you understand the subject and do more in-depth research. This can help you to create programs on the topic and craft interview questions. Like other scripts, you can use them as inspiration for creating programs on the same or similar topics. So in this section, we've talked a little bit about how you can use interview scripts, drama scripts, and backgrounders. And we've also talked a little about how to adapt scripts so that they're relevant for your listeners. And we've given you a few tips to avoid some common challenges in adapting material.